Welcome to another how-to video by the Viral Workaholic. Come on, come on. Today we're going to dense pack these walls with cellulose insulation. Why did we choose cellulose over fiberglass blow-in insulation? Dense pack cellulose inhibits the air infiltration. Sealing your warm air in in the wintertime and your cold air in in the summertime. The machine we're using we got at our local home improvement store. We use the orange slide on the front of the machine to adjust our material flow. The opening inside the machine is only open to about 4 inches. A higher volume of air and a lower volume of material will help pack the material tighter. The machine we're using only comes with a 3 inch hose. I've attached a 1.5 inch hose from my shop vac with duct tape to the 3 inch hose. This will increase the air pressure and cause the material to pack even tighter. I'm using a 3 inch hole saw to cut in between the studs. First one's kind of a uh, hope we hit it in the right place, but once we get the hole cut, then I'll take my tape measure, reach inside the hole, and find my next stud. The 3 inch hole will give me the flexibility to move the hose around so to make sure that I get the entire cavity filled and dense packed. I'll shove the inch and a half hose as far down inside of the cavity as it'll go until it stops. Make sure you use a rag or something around the hole opening or you're going to get a face full of cellulose insulation. Make sure you get your hose positioned in each cavity and ensure that you've got as far down in the cavity as you can. And then always make sure that you get that rag wrapped around that hole and sealed off before you start blowing. Once you start blowing, you continue to blow until you hear the pitch of the machine change. That way you know that the machine is starting to labor and the cellulose is starting to get tight. When you hear the pitch of the machine change, then you just simply pull the hose out a little bit until it goes back to normal and just keep listening and it'll change each time you pull the hose out a little farther and that way you get the whole cavity dense packed. I always try to maneuver the hose around inside the hole to make sure that I'm getting all sides of the cavity filled and not just piling up in the middle. Once you've reached the end of your hose, then you know you've got the whole cavity dense pack. You don't have to nod or wave or get your assistant's attention to get the machine shut off before you pull the hose out. Once you pull your hose out, then you can check the density and you can see as with this hole that the material itself with the hose removed wants to stay in the hole. It's not, not exactly falling out. You can press on it and see how tight it is. You can't pack fiberglass this tight so it doesn't cut down on the air infiltration as much as the cellulose. The best case scenario is, is cut your hose in the top and blow down from the top and then pull your hose up as you go. When working with an 80 year old home though, be prepared to improvise. We discovered after drilling a few holes in the top that someone had shoved insulation down probably from the attic part of the way down the wall. This created more of a problem for the homeowner than an asset. What happened was when the cold air hit the insulation halfway up the wall, that's where the moisture formed and created mold on the wall. Dense packing was the least invasive way for the new homeowner to resolve the issues that the prior homeowner had left for him. With the power of the machine and the smaller diameter hose to increase the pressure, we were able to blow the insulation right up to the fiberglass insulation that was halfway down the wall and completely insulate the wall. Make sure you watch the end of the video where I demonstrate just how far it will actually reach when you blow it up. When working with an older home, it's always good advice to have someone to go in occasionally and uh, make sure that the insulation isn't blowing places where it's not supposed to. We had a couple cavities that uh, had openings going up into the attic and uh, we put a little pile in the attic before we noticed that uh, it was going up there. We were able to seal it off and continue. However, 
in true viral workaholic style, we started blowing insulation into the outside wall of the bathroom. After we checked, we saw no insulation going into the basement. We saw no insulation going into the attic. So we continued to blow. The more we blew, the more it took. So we stopped again and we went in and checked and we insulated underneath of the bathtub. So always pay attention if you're getting more insulation into the cavity than you think you should then there's a good possibility you're getting more into an area that you didn't want to insulate. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, help the viral workaholic out. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell, because we got a lot more projects we're going to do this summer. You're going to love them. If you're the one breaking up the insulation, pushing it down into the hopper and making sure the material is getting through the hose always make sure that you're wearing a mask when I'm up in an attic blowing it into an attic with no ventilation I make sure I have a respirator on the bags are tightly packed when you get them so you kinda gotta break them apart put them in the hopper break them up into the hopper and with the hopper door only at four inches for dense packing, you need to have something to keep the material going down into that small opening. So we've chosen a broomstick, a two by four, whatever you can get a hold of to help press it down in and make sure the material is going into the hose. That'll work as long as you don't use your hands. You don't want to get your hands stuck in there. The person running the machine has a tough job of making sure that the material goes into the hose and also keeping an eye on the operator to make sure that they shut it off in time that they don't get a blowout. Viral Workaholic wants to give a special shout out to his buddy Dylan and Jeff's son. I said I'd show you just how far it would shoot up in a wall and I was gonna make it snow for Dylan. So there you go Dylan, making it snow. And always remember, happy building and Viral Workaholic signing out.